Hockey analyst Frankie Corrado joins us now. And Frankie, uh, we read the statement from Kyle Dubas. It was released today. Uh, you had a chance to, to read the statement in full. What did you make of what he had to say? Well, first of all, this feels like a lot of high school drama, doesn't it? Like the cool couple at school broke up and everyone's finding out he said, she said, where did this go wrong? And really, when you look at the timeline, there's both parties are to blame for the way things have gone. Kyle Dubas should have put, put pen to paper earlier on. And then he probably shouldn't have gone out and talked about what is meant to his family when Brendan Shanahan advised against it. But the big thing that sticks out to me when I read this statement is that he expected their negotiations in that timeline to stay private, to stay between them. And as a player, if you're a staff member, you want things like that to stay from party A to party B. You don't want that laundry aired out for everyone to know because you're not going to have an opportunity to answer back to it and then it becomes like we're talking about high school drama well you did this and I do that so it's really messy for an organization that prides itself so much on keeping things internal and very silent it's very against the norm for what we see for them usually they keep things tight this is all out in the open and it seems hostile now we just heard from Gina Retta and the insiders talking about potential candidates some big names mentioned who would you target as a general manager for the Toronto Maple Leafs? They need to get things done quickly. And for me, that means you need to hire Brendan Pridham because he's within the organization and he knows he doesn't have to jump into this organization and do a full-on audit on all the different departments and all the different things that are going on. He can step right in and he's a very smart person. He knows the cap. He knows the team. He knows the market. He knows where this thing needs to go. Not to mention, he knows all the staff that's already in place with this team that Kyle Dubas handpicked. So if someone from the outside is going to come into this team, you're going to waste a lot of time doing internal investigations and what needs to go right for this team to move in the right direction. If you have someone internal, you can save a lot of time and get your vision down pat because the star players are going to want to know where is this team heading and they want to know very soon. Yeah, that's a great point because whoever it is, there's going to be a lot on their plate and none bigger uh, than getting Austin Matthews signed to an extension. Now, prior Prior to Dubas uh, being let go, what percentage chance did you give to Matthew signing that extension in the offseason, and what is it now? Listen, I don't know if this is a high percentage or a low percentage, but the reality is when a star player has an opportunity to, to test free agency, that, that's enticing for them. So prior to this, I would have said 65%. Of course, Austin Matthews has interest in coming back to the Maple Leafs. This is where he can be a legend. He can make his name. But with Kyle Dubas being gone, and this is not necessarily tied to Kyle Dubas, I would put it down to 40, 45 percent, because it, it's more about the vision of the team and understanding where things are going. And if you're a star player and you're going to make a commitment somewhere, you want to know a few things. You want to know who's in charge, who's going to be around the team, and do we have an opportunity to win? And when there's things up in the air and you're getting close to crunch time saying, OK, like I, I got a sign because there's a no movement trade clause, like don't you start thinking, well, if I have a big year here and I go rip 55 goals again, I could be looking at a pay bump and a more significant contract, and it could be somewhere where maybe Austin Matthews might want to play that's other than Toronto. So as, as an unrestricted free agent, he almost owes it to himself to keep the door open a little bit, regardless of how much he says that he loves Toronto and loves being here, and he intends to be here in the future. Suddenly... So many more moving parts for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and they're under a time crunch. Just 36 days until the NHL draft in Nashville. Free agency is three days later, so there's lots to get done. Uh, time is definitely ticking.